DJs, sports bar, and club girl comedy. And keep it going if you've ever walked in someone's front door and somebody came home early and you had to leave out the window. Keep it going for all those people. Some of y'all in here got chased out. Somebody came home early. In high school, or somebody's family came home early. Later on, somebody came home early from work. You have to do that thing where you jump out the window and hit your pants on the way down. <laughs> now some jokes. So, um, I was raised Jewish. I listened to a lot of rap music growing up. <laughs> All right. And uh, so, the uh, rabbi, I got in trouble because the rabbi goes, uh, Sam, what is the fifth commandment? I thought he meant the song by Biggie Small, The Ten Crack Commandments. <laughs> I looked this rabbi in his eye and I told him, it's never sell no crack where you rest at. Yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah, yeah. if they want to bounce, come bounce. <laughs> He's like, bounce your ass on out of here. Principal's office, motherfucker. You're done for. <laughs> so, uh, me and my friend got ran up on by the police. And uh, his paranoia was out of date. He was like 80s paranoid, like they're hiding in a van watching us down the street. I'm like, nah, dude, they got smartphones and shit. The cop takes his phone out. Hey, uh, Siri, okay, Google. And my buddy's looking at me, uh, uh, hey, Sam, that's against the Constitution, right? That's against one of the amendments, right? That's against the law, right? He can't do that. I was like, first of all, you can't stand that close to me being that scared of OK Google and Siri. What have you put on the internet? What kind of stupid criminal are you? I like when people text criminal shit to each other. I'll be here at this location with this much drugs at this time. I'll see you there. Like, man, you, you ain't even gonna make it work for it, are you? <laughs> you solve the case yourself. So, uh, uh, I went, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I was uh, smoking some weed and I got paranoid, got real nervous. I, I, I thought my macaroni and cheese were having a conspiracy with some ham and some jalapeno peppers. So I ate it. I was like, I don't want them, my lunch teaming up on me. <laughs> it's true, that really did happen. So uh, here's my recovery joke. I'm not in recovery, I'm in recovery from last night. But uh, here's my recovery joke. They say in AA, one bad decision leads to two more bad decisions. So you drink, you drive, you go to jail. I was like, all right, I'm with that. So whenever I do LSD, I go furry suit LARPing. Uh -huh. <laughs> so one bad decision does lead to two more bad decisions. <laughs> That's right. That's how I spend my days. Uh, you think it's cool dating a comedian or a male comedian? This is or somebody in the restaurant industry who gets, you know, they got to shut work out down at 2 o'clock. This is what your the future will have. Hey! Hey! I'm home late. Come on, I don't want to do it. Banging on your head with an erect penis. That's where my set goes. <laughs> Oh, you guys are great. So, uh, I was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder when I was like 15, but I didn't know until I was 20 because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm also a battle rapper, and I got my rap name because I uh, signed up, and the guy's like, What's your name? I was like, My name's Sam. It's like, That's great. What's your rap name? It's like, I don't got one. My manager says he's dyslexic. So the guy's like, oh, that's a great rap name. Dyslexic. How do you spell it? <laughs> like, you can't fucking spell it. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. Um, hey, host, do you want to do a uh, to picture with the selfie with the audience with me? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Do this shit. Why don't you guys All right. Oh, you're fucking up.
Oh, sorry.